What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another video for you and this time we're taking a look at the Lost Loot Machine. Now, before I get into this video, there might be some legendary items or some unique items that you see in my inventory and I'm not looking to spoil any of that stuff for you. If you don't want to see those legendaries or those uniques, if you don't want to see any of that stuff, now's your chance to run and hide and, and avoid this video and come back to it after the game releases. But basically all this video is going to be is about this machine right here, this lost loot machine and how it works. So if you're interested in that and you're not too worried about possibly seeing some legendary item names and possibly a couple unique item names, then by all means stick around. But if you don't want to be spoiled, then please click off the video now. All right, that was a long warning, but I just wanted to make sure you guys understood. All right, let's get into it. We've got a hellfire on the ground. We've also got one, two, three, four, five blues and a purple. Now my uh, my bank on this character will hold all of these items plus some more, but we're gonna switch over to my other character. We're gonna switch over to my flak. And I want to show you guys how this will actually show up in the lost loot for him as well. So we need to switch to flak, continue, and we're in sanctuary already. So that makes that easy. We're just going to head over to the Lost Loot Machine, and you will see that even though I got those items on the other character, this is saved on your profile. So the Lost Loot thing is on your profile, so anything you lose across all your characters will show up in this thing. There are pros and cons to that, obviously. <laughs> so number one, the, uh, the main downside to that is if you have a character like my Zane, who's level 50, who might just leave a bunch of stuff laying around, that could be bad for my Flak who is a level 14 and he's going to want stuff that's on his level and not this level 50 stuff. But as you can see, I'm going to leave all that stuff right there and I want to show you guys something else. So even though we've taken that out of the lost loot, I'm going to save and quit and we're going to go back in and all of that should go right back into the lost loot machine, even though I purposely dumped it on the ground. Again, pros and cons to that is you can't just uh, do like my buddy Jolts and just leave stuff laying around. You are going to have to pick up this stuff and sell it to get it out of the, uh, the system there. It's a pretty cool feature. This is where you would come if you need to get some more SDU space. But I'm going to uh, utilize this, uh, this method to give my secondary characters a lot of money. <laughs> That's like... I guess that would be the best thing to do with this is if you have a, a character that's high level and they're always, you know, just leaving stuff laying around, then, you know, bring in your second tune and pick up stuff and sell it. And that way your second character is going to have plenty of money to unlock these other SDUs because SDUs are expensive. So as you can see, I can unlock some assault rifle, uh, some grenades, and that allowed them to get a bunch of upgrades. So pretty neat. I'll, I'll take it. So that's a quick breakdown of the Lost Loot System. Other things to note about the Lost Loot System is greens and white items will not go in here, ever. Don't have to worry about greens and white items going in there. Uh, the minimum that it will take are blue items. And then once you hit like a certain level, say that we had, um, say in that other area, we had, you know, 13 blue items, right? And we left all those laying on the ground. They go into this machine, right? This thing will be full with 13 blue items. All right, now say we go somewhere else and six purple items drop. Well, all but seven of those blue items are going to uh, go away and be replaced by those six purples that have just now gone in there. And then same thing with legendaries. Say we've got our six purples and our seven blues in there. And then we find three legendary items and those are left on the ground. So they go to the lost loot system. Well, it's going to kick the blues out first and then leave the purples and then the legendaries after that. So it prioritizes based on rarity. And I'm not 100% positive on this, but I think the secondary thing that it chooses things based on is the item score. But I could be wrong about that. So like, for example, if it had to choose between these two, I'm thinking it's going to keep the, the Clipper Masher because it's 150 item score, whereas my Leech is 149 item score. So that's all there is to this video. Short, sweet, to the point. I uh, hope this was uh, helpful or informative to you. If it was, please take a second to hit that like button. Hit subscribe for more. Lots more Borderlands videos coming for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day.